Hello everybody, welcome back. So, we, in the last episode, made our steel factory over there, so we are ready to make heavy modular frames. Now, I haven't made much progress lately, but what I did, finally, was I went ahead and put my caterium ore in there. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I've started the research for this so we can get some stuff unlocked there. And we need to fill up our space elevator here so we can get to the next tier. Uh, which is tier 5. We have everything else unlocked. Um, we don't have this though, so obviously we got to do some research, find some stuff. Uh, and we have to unlock tier 5, but we have to do the space elevator phase 2, which really isn't a big issue. We have, um, what I've done is I've attached storage to the end of the line and saved up a whole bunch of supplies. So we definitely have enough to do the, uh, the space launch here, or the space elevator, and get those supplies up there. Alright, so the motors are in there. This is gonna take a second here. Uh, this is one of my favorite animations. I actually have not seen this for a while. <laughs> I was gonna say I didn't bring enough. That would suck. So let's go load. Let's seal the crate. Does it actually do an animation for sealing a crate out here or anything? No, it does not appear like appear so. We'll seal it. Just does it here, I guess. That's what sealing looks like. And then we are gonna send it off. There she goes. That little supply thing at the back. Uh, now I have this move this. I gotta get rid of this eventually. Last time I went up there, it actually... My vehicles disappeared and the pathing disappeared for it. So um, I would really hate for that to happen again. But I do have to get rid of that stupid thing. I might actually invite a friend on to help me do that because that is such a nice sword. It goes right up into the sky. Oh, shoot! I missed the animation coming back down. Dang it. Stupid distraction. So looking at it now, it doesn't even show you the items you need. It says unavailable in early access. So this will be the update I believe they said will be coming out in seven weeks. Tell me if I'm wrong on that one, but I do believe it's about seven weeks from now-ish. Uh, that we should see more updates. That'd be pretty cool. I'm excited for trains. I don't know about you guys, but uh, we got to go the distance. Like, we obviously got to find a lot of stuff now. So let's take a look at Tier 5. Oh, look at this. So this is my first time ever actually seeing this stuff. I've purposely not gone out and looked at any videos or any information on it. And this is all brand new to me. So let's check out oil processing. So this is cool. Um, now, I have seen like oil and stuff, but I haven't really looked into it, right? We can make rubber. Oh, from oil and probably. Wow, look at all this stuff. So our next challenge is definitely going to be oil. So for this milestone, we're going to need more frames. We have tons of frames. We have tons of motors. We have tons of wire. And I'm going to have to handcraft some cables, I believe, because we that's one thing we don't have automated is cables. But that's not too big of a deal. You just get a crap load of wires. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this together and we'll get this unlocked. So I'd just like to mention, someone did say that um, on my video on how to stack these suckers, I was using the conveyor poles. Uh, but he said that he used the stackable uh, conveyor belts. Supports. And honestly... It looks good. I like it. Uh, and in here, it actually, you can, you can use these with the conveyor belts in the middle, like the pull supports. You weren't able to access them at all. So this is actually much more functional. Wow, that was actually a really good idea. Sweet. My uh, storage looks a lot better now. At least it looks supported this way, and then you have, like, literally no obstruction for them. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Hey, we have a minute and a half left on the ore research, but I did go and grab the last little bit of stuff we needed, which was some frames. So let's dump that in there and press the launch button. Beautiful. These things, this launch is getting harder and harder to see. Oh, look at that. I wonder if they would hit each other. Anyway, we have uh, oil stuff now, so that's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at that again here. We're going to go into Tier 5. Actually, I didn't even look at Tier 6 either. What do we have here? Expanded power infrastructure. So we have a fuel generator. Consumes fuel. Okay, so way better power, probably. And conveyor belt mark 4. Oh, these look intense. 450 resources per minute. Ouch. So we have computers, motors, and then we're going to have heavy modular frames. So it looks like computers is going to be our end factory for this stage. 
what do we have here? A truck. So this one has a 48 slot inventory, has a built-in craft bench, can be automated pickup, of course. It'll take any fuel type too. So this one has more fuel storage or has more storage in it. It does. This one only has 25 for the tractors. So uh, we'll definitely get a lot more storage there too. This is really cool. We get a jet pack at six. That's nice. And the gas mask. So we can, uh, we have one area actually at our factory here, right there. It's just a pain in the butt. So that gas mask will actually come in handy. So it looks like we are going to be tackling oil now. Uh, so we should be able to, I believe, pink crude oil. And it's probably going to be far away. Okay, so we have some pings. 2400 that way, 2500 that way. And it looks like there's actually two right beside each other that way and only one that way. So I'm definitely going to go for that one. So it looks like it's exploration time. Perfect too because it's nighttime. It will take me a while probably to uh, navigate my way over there. Uh, but this truck here is actually conveniently already loaded up for us. We have tons of fuel. Um, I have more building supplies in here, some raw steel. So we should have enough to build everything we need over there to get automation going. I think I'm going to use another truck to do this. Pretty, pretty confident we're going to do that. We're going to automate a truck route. This is going to be a struggle and a half, but it'll be cool when it's done. I think the whole episode might actually just be getting the oil up and running. The one good thing about going on an adventure right now is I don't have very many alternate blueprints unlocked. I could uh, definitely use some more of that. Uh, being able to skip the iron rods would be nice too, uh, to find a blueprint for that. I need more power slugs. More power slugs is always better. Uh, now, I'm not too looking to get too crazy into full out efficiency with this let's play. I think I'm going to go more of like fancy looking uh, organized factory type deal. Uh, but I will get into efficiency eventually once I want the uh, the added challenge in here And I am doing a live playthrough too if you guys want to check that one out where I think I'm gonna test out more of like the the full load efficiency stuff I found some SAM or SAM or Hmm And of course I uh, totally forgot to do my uh, caterium research. So we're going to have to do that again <laughs> when I get back. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll do this without uh, the upgraded stuff here. I'm going to re-ping so I can find the stuff. May as well grab these things up while I'm here. I think those are work in progress right now. Yeah, we can't do anything, but all in Vegas. Oh, crap. Here we go. Dodge them. <laughs> What's up, dude? Ow. Yeah, those suckers still do a little bit of damage. That's okay. Let's get out of here. So this biome is actually relatively new to me. I haven't gone too far into this biome. I should actually grab this food while I'm here too. Okay, you're not going to roll away, are you? Nope, we're good. We'll grab some pale berries up. I've seen one there. And it looks like there's a lot of gas in this area too. I don't know if it's the biome itself or it just happens to be gas right there. Those stupid things hate those ouch oh wow look at that thing <laughs> I've never come across one of those yet that's crazy looking they actually attack your tractor too hmm that's a new level of aggressive so I kind of went around and apparently we missed a cliff there's a cliff or something there so now I am lost this episode I think is gonna take forever I gotta find this stuff Okay, maybe there isn't a cliff over here, and I was just seeing things. Fortunately, they made these trucks actually run through a lot more stuff than they did before. So we should be able to make our way through here kind of okay. Oh, there is a ledge here. Damn it. There's tons of these damn spiders. Wow, oil is going to be a struggle. Alright, so looking at it, maybe it's actually not in that biome over there because if we come around the corner here we're, we're back over to where the waterfall is and I've actually come up this way before there should be a cave up this way so 
Uh, that's a little far. Okay, we'll go to the edge over here. We should be able to drop down without taking any damage. But I do believe there's a cave up that way. And... We took that cave. Or I took that cave at some point, sorry. And killed a couple spiders, and it just kept going and going and going. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go up that way over there. Because I know how to get here from my base. It's actually, like, not too far away. As you can tell, I've been through here exploring a little bit. Oh, there's the uh, space well. Cool. So, let's drop down here. Hopefully, they didn't add vehicle damage in. That would actually really suck. Uh, the one danger of doing this... Oh, they did too! Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, I guess I took that for granted. I haven't tried that trick in a while, but that's okay. We got some food, and I guess I got a little bit of a run here. I know how to get there from here. It's just a wee bit of a run. Actually, I have a, a couple other trucks kicking around. I have one around the corner over here. What I should do is just take that stupid thing over there. I think it doesn't have much in it. I should just take that one over there and catch up. Yeah, there it is. I'll grab this and we'll go and get my stuff. And see, that area is literally just right down this way. My 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 uh, factory is right there. I just want to mention, too, that I went through and, like, I was waiting for the frames to be made. So I went through and repainted everything, reset all my colors. And then when I logged into the game again, my color gun presets were reset. And if I go to change one, it, like, resets everything and then all the colors go all weird. Ugh. So, I don't know if that's like a bug with my playthrough, or if that's a bug, or I don't believe that would be intended. But, that kind of sucked. Oh, look at that. We're right over here somewhere. Where did our truck end up? I think I'm looking at the, the one that's moving around too, though. Oh, I hope I didn't end up on the... I think I ended up on the cliff up here. I hope I didn't end up in an inaccessible spot. Should be able to do this. What did I have in here? Yeah, nothing but plates, and it's running off. It's running off biofuel. Pfft. Biofuel is so, like, five episodes ago. There's my truck, and here's my stuff. Nice. There we go. Okay, we're good to go again. So, mental reminder, you can't cheat by just driving off an edge with your tractor anymore. <laughs> they definitely patched that. All right, here we go. So I'm going to try tra taking this truck here off the edge we came down. And... Okay, no damage. Sweet. Okay, we should be good to go. See you later, truck. You served me well. Okay, so here we actually have an obstacle, which is a gas field. I hate those damn things. So maybe we do have to take the cave? Huh? Let's find out. Yeah, we're, we're going to take the cave system up here because they all seem to be... Whoops, I pinged the wrong stuff here. What did I ping? Well, definitely wasn't the right thing. I think it was iron that I pinged. There we go. Yeah, we're going to take the cave up, see where this cave leads. It actually goes on for a while. What I did was got out of my truck and I started walking. Hey, I actually killed you guys. You're still alive. Oh, well, maybe they do respawn. Um... Anyway, I came through this cave and like I think those were the only spawns I came across and I ran back to my truck and went back to the base. So, we're going to figure out where this goes. Wow, this cave just keeps going and going. It must be the way up to the taller platforms up here, which is where I assume maybe the oil would be. Hopefully this just doesn't lead to a dead end. That would really suck. That would be really nice too. A refuel from inventory button for the truck. Maybe one you could use too while you're driving. That would be crazy handy. Oh, wow. I like this area. This is nice. This game's so beautiful. I mean, I have to turn down the graphics a little bit in this game. Um, I do find you get a wee bit of lag every once in a while when you enter your new area. Um, it's almost like it's loading it in, and then it kind of comes back down. I've been watching my um, my task manager and watching the levels and stuff, and I, I do apologize if, like, when I load in a new area, if it does that. We're gonna try to avoid it, but it is what it is. So let's look up crude oil here again, and see how far away we are. Oh, there's a green slug up there. 
right. There's one 713 meters over that way. That must be the one we were chasing. All right, let's go around and uh, see what we can find. Oh, it looks like it goes back into... Oh, this is nice. I like this area. Is it maybe over this way? Could be over this way too. Lots of new enemies. Um, lots of new things to look at. I hope they optimize this a little better at some point. Yeah, I see a little bit of lag right there. All right, so let's uh, stop here for a second. This area doesn't look too intense either. Looks like we'll be able to handle it. Let's uh, let's do another quick ping here again. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Coming to see me? So 600 meters that way? Oh, yeah, let's keep going. Oh, wow, look at that. That is nice. Uh, whoever does the, the, the world editing on this, beautiful. Okay, so I see some poison fountains, and I see something over there. Oh, crap, crap, crap. No! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Holy crap, the whole area is poison. Whoo! Whoo! Wow! Okay. Oh, crap. Getting in trouble now. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, it's just one of you guys. Wow. I wish there was a better way to tell that. So, honestly... It, it looked like there's just a couple. I see them all now, though, and I see how stupid that was. But we're definitely not getting out that way. So, let's go down. And see what's over here. So, we have a path over that way. And it doesn't look like there's any poison right there. Damn. I need to heal here, too. <laughs> here we go. I'll just jump on top of my truck for now. That way we can get a good view and I won't get bothered. Alright, there we go. I got my health back, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for more. Because I'll probably drive into poison a few more times. <laughs> just lesson learned. When I see those, take a second and take a good look. Okay, so we got this area over here. This looks like a waterfall. That looks a little funky. I don't know what's going on there, but it also looks very dangerous. Uh, so if we look over there, I don't see any poison stuff. What's that thing? Hmm. Definitely looks like this is a way I want to get across. So I'm going to build myself some foundations. I didn't even bring any beacons either. Hopefully I'll be able to make one of those on the fly. Uh, I don't think I brought any copper stuff. Uh-oh. Yay, Skybridge. We're rocking it. This is actually a really nice spot. I like this. Oh, it looks like it's easy accessible from over there. So we'll take these out eventually, I think, here. Or drive my truck across it. I don't even know. Okay, let's go by foot and see what's up that way. I love that little, little wrench at the bottom, how it wiggles around. <laughs> Okay, so we're still 420 meters away. And it looks like we might have a little bit of a safe area here. But, oh, look at this. Wow, they're whole different types of trees. That's crazy. So this looks like it's a biome that actually holds the oil. Ooh. I might be able to drive my truck around here if we build a nice path. Shouldn't be too hard, actually. We can build a sky bridge for our truck. Oh, crap. I hear one. Don't push me off an edge. Oh, there you are. Whew. Okay, got him. Okay, so this definitely does look like a little bit of a cheaty way across here, which is cool. Well, it's not really cheating. It's it's a little more challenging to get over here. That is okay. We must be getting really close. 303 meters that way. All right, so we are going to... Man, am I going to be able to find my way back home? That's the question. Wow, this looks intense. Um, I could leave myself markers. Like like these things. Fair poles. They're really cheap. How many can we build, actually? Let's take it out. Six. Hopefully I have some more plates in the, in the truck. But we should be able to pull this off. 
if I do the bridge right. So we'll build the bridge actually across right here, which is probably the, the smarter idea in the first place. Okay, so I'm going to put some conveyor belts, actually stackables. Here we go. Maybe I'll make a common thing for myself. The second stack is the direction you're supposed to go in. I don't even know. We'll, we'll memorize this slowly, but I built a little bit of a, um, a land bridge over here. So we should be able to sneak this truck across if I don't leg off an edge. Here we go. Whew, this is going to be deadly. And we should be able to, I think, to get up that little area without having to build any. Oh, no. I do have to build a little bit of a ramp up here. Back up carefully. There we are. And build ourselves a wee ramp. I don't know why I'm saying we today. And there we are. I should be able to get back on this safely, too, coming back. Okay, cool. There we go. So I'll leave myself little landmarks, I guess. I think... I think I should be able to get back from here without any other markings. Hey, okay, here we go. So I want to go this way, and I think I want to go up that ledge around the corner here. So I'm going to mark this. Get back on my truck. Where are you? Oh, he's over there. He's just one of those damn things. No big deal. Oh, we got to make a, a ramp up here, actually. Let's uh, utilize my truck for that. Well, I guess he's not attacking me. He's just kind of standing over there making noise. Okay, that's okay. So we got a ramp there. Uh, I should actually be a little more conservative with these because plates weren't really too much of a thing I thought I had to bring. Uh, also, too, I, I've seen some people use the beacons, and I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of how they, they look on the map. I'm not sure if I like that. Actually, if I go down that way, am I going to get poisoned? Did I just do something useless? Let's back up here. Whoa. Whoa, don't drive off an edge. Actually, yeah, I can come down this way. Let's get rid... Oh. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Save the supplies. And we'll come down this way over here. Here we go. I don't see poison too close, so we should be okay if we... If we keep it quiet. The other thing I could have done, too, was started recording an auto route just to have the arrows. Damn. There we go. Look at that. Now, I should leave landmarks, too, just in case. That'll, that'll help. So what do we have over here? We have water. So it looks like... Is that an enemy over there? the hell is that? Look at the size of it. It's too foggy too. I can't see it. But you guys see that, right? Right right up in the upper corner? Maybe it's some sort of plant. It's not moving. Yeah, I gotta build a, uh, a bridge across here. There we go. Land bridge complete. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of doing this. Oh, we're by with some of these arch things over here. I haven't really witnessed those yet either. Oh, there's a slug right there. Isn't that a pleasant surprise? Okay, so we're going to grab that slug 100% because I can use as many as we can find. And this is where third person really sucks. Okay. Looks like we're relatively safe here. I don't really see too much going on except for this dude joining us. Oh my god, the struggle is real. There we go. I got stuck in his legs and I couldn't get over here. What the hell? Why can't I get to this thing? It's like it's blocked. Do I have to use a chainsaw on this? I don't even think I brought a chainsaw. Which would have been a smart thing to do. Uh, what if... Haha! I see your challenge! And I accept it. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, okay, so apparently this is not something... You're supposed to be able to get to... Without using a chainsaw. So that's new. Okay, mental note. I wonder if I can make one. Okay, so I made a chainsaw here. I put an equipment workshop down. We'll claim that back. And uh, just grabbing up some crap here. Does a chainsaw run off flower petals? No, you have to have biofuel. And you can't turn flower petals into biofuel. That was a garbage idea. Okay. 
Well, this area has like nothing for leaves. I guess that's a challenge over here. Is uh, very little in the way of leaves. Will these things here give me? Ah, there we go. There's some leaves. I don't need many. Just enough to make a little bit of biofuel so we can tear through that wood over there. Success! Haha! <laughs> now we should be able to get to the green power slug. That's a little bit of effort. That's okay though. Now we do have one of these on us where we need it. Oops, I should probably unequip it, right? Okay, so according to this, we're still 200 meters away from the uh, the node, so it's got to be right over there. I'm going to go ahead here and lay down some more concrete and uh, make my way over there. I might actually go a little bit higher and try to aim for like right beside that tree-ish in between, around that tree. It looks like it has a big base that's really in the way. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have to cut our way through up here. That would be a cool challenge. <laughs> oh, damn. There's one poison thing right there. I didn't even see the stupid thing. Oh, and we have a couple of these spitter guys over here. So I wonder if I can get them to uh, to come over here so I can engage them properly. I should be able to run right by that thing. Shouldn't pose too much of an issue. Come here. Uh, you, are, you weren't very smart, were you? Where's the other one? There it is. Okay, can I run just right by this thing? Is there too many? Crap. It is doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, I don't see any other ones. Maybe I'll just kind of go over this way a little bit. Looks like there's one right there, too. Whoa, I got hit by something. Oh, it's one of... Whoa! Where the hell is that coming from? What the hell is that? There's this sucker right here. But the range on that, where is it coming from? That was crazy. Okay, let's get this little sucker here. You guys suck. Oh wow, my health is really low down here too. Let's get on the, tr oh, crap. Uh oh, am I out of fuel now too? No. What bad timing. There it is. That's what was it. that's what was spitting at me. Um, I'm going to go for a run back here and try to get my health back. I think I have some food on me. There he is. He's marching over there. Okay. I wonder if I can get off this thing without making him angry. Woo! Look at that. Whew, this, this is intense. This would take a long time to get back here uh, again. Of course, I'd make another vehicle, but still be a pain in the butt. There we go. Got some health back. But now we got the problem with this freaking this freaking thing. Uh I don't think I have I don't think I have the power to take that thing out. I, I really don't. Let's uh let's drive over here with the truck and see if it moved off or went somewhere else. I wonder if those guys can bump me off too. Holy crap though, talk <laughs> this biome's insane. Okay, I, I, I think we're fine. We have lots of these damn things in the way, though. Can we trap them with these? Oh, no, they just clip right through them, so you cannot trap them. You can trap yourself and stuff, but apparently you cannot trap those. I <laughs> it look like they're trapped over here now, though. I wonder if I can kill them, because they're so close. Bump? Oh, see, they give you a bump when you get too close to them. Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so here we are. We finally made it across this river, and there's a lot of those damn things here. Look at them all. And we're 105 meters away. Oh, we're almost there. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just land bridge right over there. Oh, that damn thing's over there now too. Or it's another one. I don't even know. But if it starts, oh shit. Yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get rid of it. Oop, a little too close to the poison. There we go. I kind of see it off in the distance. I wonder if we can't lose it, because the last time it just kind of went away. I... I... Ugh, that thing hits so fast and so hard, I don't think there's any way we can take it out at this point, just with our, our sword. We'd need some heavier weapon, I do think. Okay, I took a little damage because I got too close to that thing still. Damn it, those poison things really suck. Where did that big, tall... Gangster go. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, let's 
back up here and not like fall off the edge. That would be really bad too. I wish I brought more plates at this point, so I could just build walls and just stay safe until I get to the um, the ore, and then this could be the main bridge to it, because it's like right ahead too. The struggle for this is real. Oh crap. It's right there now. Woo, Nelly! Well, it does a lot of damage to the vehicle too. Holy crap. Let's get let's try to let's try to drag him out of here. Come this way, guy. Are you still behind me? Oh, he's right there. I wish you can kill those things with your vehicle. Um I've never been able to kill anything with the vehicle. It just kind of runs them over. Have you guys been able to kill anything? <laughs> All right. Well, let's take a dive at it again. Oh, there he is. He's marching. So it looks like he's actually intelligent enough to go back. If I could just get this past this bridge past him, we would be good to go. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, is that thing literally just walking right through my foundation? It is too, and now it's standing there. Damn these stupid things. Oh, this one's actually up on it. <laughs> Ugh, I need more firepower. I know what we're going to do. We're going to make a little bit of a kill box and see if I can't kite it over here, get into the kill box, and then kill it. I think that would be the best way because, oh my god, the run back here. Insane. Look at all these arrows. Well, at least I know where I went. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a door in the front. That should be enough for me to swing at him, but he looks bigger than uh, the door anyways. So he shouldn't be able to get in there. And I'll build a door on this side too. There we go. And just for safety reasons. A nice roof. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, hopefully this thing actually cannot get to us here. We'll go around. So if you skip to the edge, I don't I don't get hit by the poison. So I might have to move this bridge over a little bit, too, just because I'm running really low on health stuff. <laughs> All right. What's up, dude? Come at me, Brosif. There we go. I think if you, you can outrun him easily. Whoa, there we go. Around the poison. Where is he? There he is. Look at him right there. Keep coming at me, man. No? Oh, of course. Now that I have the, the kill box out. Oh, ouch. Still coming at me? Yeah, he's firing. Nice. Woo! Haha! -ha! Can't hit me in my invincible box. Maybe it's when I get out of the line of sight. He immediately stops attacking. Cause there he is right there. What's up, my man? Oh, crap. There's one right there now, too. What the heck? Whoa, we can run right through here. What in the world is going on? No. It can run through there. Well, that's not a very good idea. Where did that one even come from? There's two over there now? Dang. Okay. New technique. We're actually going to go up. We're going to go up in the air and see how, see how that works. Holy crap, though. Well, we know they can run through it. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, no. This is insane. We know they can run through a kill box now. They can run through those doors. They're bigger than the doors, but they can make it through it. So um, that's a little bit scary. All right. Is he is he literally over there now? <sighs> Maybe we'll start the sky bridge from back here. Alright, so I'm going to take out these supports at the bottom. Of course, these things are floating because this game... Whoa, crap! Where'd you come from? What even are you? Oh, you're just a little guy. Um, I can park my truck on them. I have, like, no health. I should have ate some, some stuff. There we go. Are you underneath my truck, buddy? I think he is, actually. That's funny. Oh, he's underneath my tire, I think. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's just chilling. Didn't even seem affected by that. It's almost like they're clipping through stuff now. Okay, there we go. Whew. 
That was unexpected. Okay. Can I hit him? No, he can aggro me though. But we should be okay for a second with absolutely no food. I have nothing to eat. Damn it. Okay, well there's uh there's one pale berry here. Not gonna do too much for us, but we will eat that. There we go. At least we got some health back. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy just so he's not bugging me and he doesn't sneak up on me again. I just oh crap. Should be a better way to equip this crap. Oh there we go. Come on. Ha! Ah, stupid. Whew, that was intense. So I gotta keep going the sky bridge up here. I'm gonna go uh, by foot for now. And then once we got it complete, we'll bring the truck over. Oh, hey, look, there's a mushroom floating up in there. Oh, there's three mushrooms up in the air floating over there. Sky shrooms. Okay, so I've gone a little further over this time and I should be able to grab some of our supply back. Yeah, look at that, there we go, uh, from here. And I should be high enough that those suckers really can't get to me. And we can at least get over and see what we have, what kind of situation we have for the oil. Oh, that's that guy that I egg rode last time. Damn, they're tough. Okay, so we're over here. I went too wide uh, just so those guys can't even see me. And now we've actually come up to this weird looking thing. And I don't know if we can actually remove that. Um with a chainsaw, but I definitely hope so. We'll find out when we bring the truck back over here. What's inside of it? You can actually see inside of it doing this. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. We should be getting close-ish to the oil. Okay, so I ran on the concrete. I'm pretty sure we actually have some left in the truck here too. Oh, it reflects. What's it reflecting? It's reflecting something, but it looks like a building. That is weird. Anyways, let's go uh, grab our truck, and I do believe I should have more concrete in there. I think I packed some extra. Oh, my damn health. All right, so very carefully drive this truck up here. And before we do that, actually check it for a supply so we're not just driving over there for no reason. And, ooh, we got a little bit of concrete in here. Not a lot, but that's okay. We'll make a little bit more of a platform. I'm going to have to run back home anyways, get more health stuff. Um, I really don't want to die out here. And then we'll get a ranged weapon too, because I might be able to take those suckers out with a ranged weapon from up here. And that would solve a lot of our problems too, so... Hey, this is part of the game, right? It's part of the fun. Exploring, killing things, finding new things. See a lot of those uh, firefly pod thingies around here too. Let's see, first of all, if I can't get rid of this thing... Um, oh, careful. Uh, with our, our chainsaw. Yeah, it doesn't light up when I come over to it. So either I need to do that from the base, or you cannot actually chainsaw those suckers down. That kind of sucks. So that... Oh, crap. Can you hit me from there? He's actually, like, literally sitting on the oil. Wow. Oh, oh, oh that's intense. Yeah, he's protecting that. He's like, that's my oil. Uh, so we're actually pretty close. I just I wanted to get a quick look at it with you guys. There it is. See? See where the oil is? That looks like it's it right there. Because when I did a ping, it says 33 meters away and it's right there. So I think with a ranged whip. Wow! Oh, shoot! No! Well, looks like I'm grabbing some supplies, building the truck back home, and bringing another truck with us. Holy crap. I did not see that one coming. That thing like literally like tracked me down. <laughs> well, shortcut. So I have gone ahead and grabbed my nuts and grabbed a whole bunch of extra supplies here. So I'm going back with some. And now I can make the truck too. I don't think, actually, you know what? I'm going to go grab some more plates and put the plates in the truck and then drive back. So this should take a few minutes and probably be very boring. Whew. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I took a shortcut across here. Never do that when you have inventory in your stuff. Here we go. Oh, no. No, don't feed the metal plates out there. Please do not feed the metal plates. 
Okay. I don't think I don't think we fed any metal plates up here. Ah, oh, that would suck. Let's take a look. Okay, no, I don't see any. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Holy crap. It took some plates out of my truck and put it in there. Okay. Another mental reminder. Do not shortcut on that damn thing. Okay. So we have all of our plates. All right. Let's go. Oh, hey, look, some sulfur. May as well pick this kind of stuff up on the way back, too. Uh, that way I have a little more to play around with. And I'm sure we're going to be able to research the sulfur for something at some point. So, that one's on the list. Oh, that's some health stuff around here. Definitely going to be grabbing some of this up here. I don't have a weapon on me either, so i got to be really, really careful. And I haven't actually taken any health items. Oh, um, what I should do with this truck is actually disassemble it when I'm done. A couple more pale berries, don't mind if I do. This area actually seems to have uh, quite a few of them. I didn't make any uh, health items either because I didn't have all the items on me. I just brought like my stack of pale berries and ate them. I have, that was a little bit of a stupid move, so just know in the future, don't do that. All right, so we're back over here. This is not too hard to get around. Uh, I should be over there in a moment. Okay, so apparently you cannot destroy the mushrooms with your truck. You'll actually get stuck on the mushrooms. Oh, wow. Well. Keep that in mind. You should be able to destroy those things with mushrooms. They're soft. Oh, wow. Look, another pillberry. All right. I'm going to get my health back up. Oh, and just another note, too. If you have one truck doing pathing and you don't finish it, you cannot start another path in a different truck. So if you somehow like get your truck lost or jammed somewhere while you're pathing, you could actually essentially, I think, screw yourself over. Unless a restart fixes that. I hope a restart fixes that. But that's a, a potential bug right there. Oh, let's go around. There we go. Now we're back home. So what I think I'm going to do up here is actually make myself uh, some walls and, and stuff with doors in it. That way I have a little bit more of a blockade. So let's go ahead and take out a walls. And I'm going to slam a few down here from a distance. Okay, there we go. Walls are out. Uh, I guess I can't grab all this. So I'm going to actually drop a personal storage here. And we'll start storing some stuff. Because this is going to be an outpost, right? We're going to have to make a whole bunch of crap here to get it back home. Oh my god, I said I didn't have any uh, weapons on me, and I brought my uh, rebar gun and a whole bunch of ammo. So I did have weapons on me, I was just being stupid. Alright, let's try this with a ranged rebar gun. This might take a while, but hey, it may actually be effective too. Oh wait, what? I don't see any. Hello? Is this a... It's a trap. It, it's got to be a trap. Well, apparently, they aren't around anymore. Apparently. We'll probably find them as soon as I go down. I'm going to just build out a little bit here and see if we uh, can't find them or see any other dangers around that might we might run into right away. Yeah, I don't see them at all. It looks like respawning may have despawned them. All right, then. Well... I'm going to take some of these back and start working my way down on foundations. This might be a little tricky. Okay, so looking around. Does not appear to be any enemies at all. So simply dying and respawning apparently got rid of the uh, the enemies. So we should be good-ish to go. Uh, let's drop down and find out, I guess. No other way to uh, to do that. Watch, as soon as I get my ramps down, they're going to come out of nowhere and come attack me. Nope, we're good to go. Ah, oh, nice. What's this? These things attack me too? Oh, they're just... Okay. They're nothing cool. This is land stuff. So here we go. Oil cannot be picked up. What? Oh, and it's just a normal one too. Well, at least it's normal. It'd be better if it was good stuff, but... Now we know how much of a challenge it is to find oil. <laughs> There we go. And we have our land bridge across. I might go back and like support it later because honestly, I'm not a big fan of the sky bridges. But in these areas to like get the trucks in and out, you really have to. 
So I think what we're going to have to do here... Hopefully I brought enough steel stuff to cover our ass. If not, I'll have to go back. It's actually not too bad. The more I drive back, like the second time I came here, it wasn't hard to find at all. Uh, we have to build an oil pump, and I didn't even look at the supplies you need in order to build these things. I was like, I was going to throw a miner Mark one on it. I'm like, wait. Uh, so we're going to throw an oil pump on this sucker. I need some motors, heavy frames, and the, like the cable's not a big, um, a big deal, but I should be able to get this together. That's not too bad. All right, so we have enough to do our oil pump here. So let's see what this sucker looks like. This is actually my first time with an oil pump, so it's kind of exciting. I'm going to have it come out this way. That way it can go up and along there. We'll, ma we'll make it look nice. Um, I'm gonna have to, I think I can actually build a truck station up there. I'll support it. I'll make this look nice. Uh, but we'll actually go a little bit higher with all our production and crap and uh, just leave the oil pump down here. I think that'll be easy enough. So to get this going initially... Uh, we're gonna have to use biofuel. So we'll get this all jump started with biofuel. What do we need for that even again? Uh, we have everything we need on us. So I can just throw the sucker down here because we're gonna be getting rid of it. Uh, it looks like there is a bountiful amount of bio or bio stuff around. So I should be able just to make it all this crap. Biofuel done. We are ready to hook this sucker up. Power it right to there nice there we go so we should be burning fuel oh 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 this thing takes more than that i never even thought to take how much it takes it's 40 megawatts holy crap we need 40 megawatts to power this thing so we're gonna need two of these things actually um in tandem with each other to power one of these oh well it is what it is let's make another one yeah, you can absolutely not remove these things, which kind of sucks, because I, I took my chainsaw out. Oh, you can take out these smaller ones? Okay, that works. Oh, my cell, yeah, these things give you those. Neat. Okay, time to start clearing out some land. Sweet, so both of these are filled right up now, and this should be enough now to get this sucker going here. Okay, there we go. There we go, both are going, and this, oh, look at that. Look at that animation. Don't you just love it? Oh, I love the animations in this game. Like, it's not overkill, it's just the right amount. That is perfect. Oh, wow. Look at that, it actually produces, it says 120 per minute, so these things actually produce quite well too, quite fast. That's insane. Okay, so either we're gonna have to build a for now I'm actually gonna build a storage off to the side here. So let's go to organization uh, uh, Yeah, it's not worth the cost. This is so much cheaper. Just stack like two of these on top of each other Okay, we'll put one off to the side here. Just to store our oil. I mean We're wasting if not right and and I'm aware that sometimes you can use like the faster conveyor belts and you can use the slower ones um, but for me these uh, steel beams I have tons and tons of them so I'll just keep using them that way there we go look at that all the oil pouring out I love it now this is another thing I heard people being like they're like oh it's a controversy um, actually what well we used a mark II. Oh damn let's change that to actually mark three there we go perfect um, they're like, we want pipes, the the, the pipes controversy. Uh, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I actually really like how the barrels look. It, it's, it's to me, it'd be more fun watching something go down a track than see nothing in a pipe. You know what I mean? Like, this is much cooler. Although I do think pipes would make the game run better because it's way less animation. But uh, this is what satisfa Satisfactory is about, right? What I'm going to do right here, we have a nice big area right here. I'm actually going to go out and build a foundation across here. Hey, did I miss? Oh, I almost thought I saw one through over there. So we'll, we'll put, I think, our oil refinery up here. And then down there, the loading station for it. And that should be really good to go for most of our stuff. Okay, and hopefully we don't run out of any supplies because I hate driving back and forth. But there we go. So oil's um, being saved up. And then we can wrap it around in a new one and then whatever. Oil, uh, we'll see what we do with it. So for our oil refinery, if we go down here, I'm going to add that to my to-do list. 
Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch more steel stuff, so this will take me a moment to get together, too. And mission accomplished. We have enough, actually, for our oil refinery now. Uh, let's see how big this sucker is. Oh, that's actually... That's completely doable. What am I encroaching? Oh, the little workbenches and stuff over there. Whatever. I can put it down more foundations here in a second. We will put this sucker right at the edge here. Ah, beautiful. And then it should go right into our truck loading station. That way we can automate a vehicle coming back. Ah, nice. All right, let's get this sucker hooked up. I don't think I actually have enough. Uh, what does that put out? 120 a second? So the Mark IIs actually will do it from here. So I'm going to go ahead, take out that sucker right there. And we will go with the Mark IIs this time, just because I didn't bring that much steel with us, right? Oh, I went through the foundation. Damn. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix that later. I'll come back and uh, we'll make that look a little proper. Okay, so now if we go into this thing, let's look. We want it to be making fuel. There we go. So fuel takes eight crude oil in total. And this thing itself actually takes 50 megawatts. So I think what I'm gonna do is build just one more um, bio machine. Unhook this sucker and then we'll start getting this, uh, this going here, making fuel. And I do believe fuels convert electricity or used as vehicles. Oh damn, oh. We don't have the power plants yet, do we? We do not. All right, so this is going to be a challenge too. What I could do, and it would take a while, is just route power from our main base all the way here. Is there coal nearby? I'm going to ping coal. If there's coal like really close, we'll use that instead. And... Swing and a miss. Oh, 832. Yeah, it's a little far. Damn. I was thinking we could turn this right back into electricity and bring it back that way. Um, hmm. Challenge? Accepted. Okay, so since we don't really need this oil refinery here, what I'm going to do is break it down and save our supplies. Uh, because we won't be doing this. What we're going to do is bring this right directly to the base because I, I don't have to refine stuff here so this will actually hook up into our truck factory here we should keep keep it going and load up the whole the truck with a whole bunch of oil so I'm gonna leave one truck in behind here and we'll get a truck station assembled up here okay here we go now I might have to be careful driving my trucks around this um, it's not gonna be powered right now uh, what we're going to do is get this actually hooked back up into here. I can actually save, too, on some of these foundations because we definitely don't need that many. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring our conveyor belt now from up here to here. Conveyor belt's too long. Oh, dang it. Look at that. It's just too long, too, I think. Of course it is. Of course. All right, there we go. So we have crude oil being pumped into here now. So <clears throat> this is ready to go, but we need to figure out power now. Uh, that's our next challenge. Uh, we're going to just kind of keep letting this go. Um, I can't power both at the same time. Okay, we're, we're going to leave this for now. I'm going to go down there, take that biofuel of the machine so it just doesn't burn through it. Because I do believe these things still burn, even though it's not <clears throat> using fuel. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. So these are stopped. Good to go. I'm going to head back home. And we're going to take a look at what we need to unlock more tears. All right, I'm giving in here. What I'm actually going to do is we're just going to build literally a power line going here all the way to my base i mean we may as well we'll keep all the power in one spot then back at home we'll build major power lines and bring it back hopefully we don't run into any trouble with this this is going to be insane 
Okay, so I got back on this truck now, and it's actually giving me the options back to do this stuff. Uh, but the other path is still there, so apparently that was just a bug. Me not being able to do that. What a pain in the butt. Alright, so I ran out of concrete, and that is okay. Uh, whatever we'll do is we'll go back home, uh, take a look at the other stuff, grab some more supplies, and then we'll run a line from home coming all the way here. It actually shouldn't take too long. Even laying the ones down I was doing wasn't hard at all. Oh no, what have I done? Look at this. I have, oh, can I use just straight up crude oil for the truck? Oh, no way, okay. So I can actually use the oil to fuel that gas station to bring this truck back and forth. Oh, well, I'm glad I stopped to figure that out. And hopefully 100 oil will actually do it there and back. We'll, uh, we'll have to drive back a few times just to make sure it'll make that trip. If it doesn't, then we'll uh, have to figure out how to hook it up with coal or something. But I I'm thinking the oil will burn better than coal anyways. All right, home sweet home. So we're finally here. So I'm just taking a look here for our tier 5. Uh, we have our computer, truck, and manufacturer. This is how we're going to make those frames, uh, the heavy frames. Uh, we got to make one of these in our steel factory. That thing looks huge. Look at that. And in tier six is where you get um, expanded power. So in order to get power over there to generate itself, we have to go through this. Which actually is really not an issue. Then we'll see what we need to make computers. And then keep going from there. Oh, the other thing too. Before we go anywhere. This is done. Caterium more is done. Uh, quick wire. Technologies have been developed here three. Cool. So it's in hub tier 3 that that's available in. What do we have here? Caterium technology. We have ingots, quick wire... Uh, the power of Mark II, which does six power line connections, which is nice. Uh, Blade Runners, an exoskeleton for your lower legs as system movement on you. Sprint faster and jump higher. Also dampens the impact of landing. Ooh, that's nice. Now we can ping for that too. Okay, so I'm going to get together the supplies for this. We'll unlock this, and then we'll go back and not unlock this we're just going to run a power line that'll get everything going once we get the oil automated back and forth and we can start making some of this stuff then we'll uh we'll go and just build a maybe a separate power grid over there wow they really made it um challenging to get to the oil but i guess the advantage of starting in the other biomes is that you are closer to the oil where this is easier um first game or at the start of the game and the other ones i guess are going to be easier at the end of the game because you're already close to them Cool. Okay, let's get this done. And there we go. We unlocked uh, Caterium. Uh, now we should be able to make some ingots and take a look at the Blade Runners here. <laughs> Inflating your pocket dimension. Well, thank you very much. I need it. Anywho, uh, let's take a look at our Blade Runners here. We're going to need 50 quick wire. Ooh, hopefully I can make enough and we have everything else which is actually really easy okay let's go make some quick wire I think I threw the rest of the ore in here I did oh look at that I just had barely enough to make those we're left with 18 more ingots after this holy crap at least we at least we can make it okay so let's take a look here and build our quick wire first. That's actually a necessity there. Oh, it makes it in batches of four, so I had to make a couple too many. That's okay, though. We will store some of this, and then we should be able to make our stuff. Okay, I'm going to actually stick the ore in here. This is my more valuable stuff. At one point, that was actually a lot more valuable than it is now, but... Ugh. Inventory management? Be such a bitch in this game. Like, leaves, flowers, all that stupid crap. And I put the quick wire in there for whatever reason. There we go. Holy crap, that was painful. Let's get our blade runners together. 
and uh, try these suckers out. So I assume they go in this slot here. They do. Do we have? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It, 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 wow. You can really jump high and go fast now. Oh, this is so much easier. I love this. I should have done this a long time ago. All right, so I'm good to go. We have everything we need. I need to go grab some concrete. And what I'm going to do is actually start running that power line back. Now, <clears throat> this is probably going to take a good 15, 20 minutes, I think. I'm, I'm just really estimating with uh, the time. Uh, so what we'll do, I want to do a full run too, just to make sure. Or I can just get the truck going and follow the truck to make sure it runs the whole thing. Because I want to make sure that it doesn't run out of fuel coming from here and going to there. Eventually I'll be able to make fuel and I'm sure we won't have a problem with that. Um, but for now, we're going to just tie off of here and work a power line all the way there. Uh, it's probably not the easiest solution, but it's what we're doing. Look at this. We are so very close to where I ended the power line before. So finally made it. Took forever, but we're finally there. I think I can actually tag on to that from over there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make this actually a little bit. A little bit wider so that way I don't drive off of it doing something stupid. Not paying attention, taking a swig of coffee, you know, it happens. But we're almost there. Almost a little success. It took a little while, but I'm actually glad I went and put the effort into it. Here we go. And we just have to go around these little rocks here. We can go through the middle. And off we go. I think I can catch the ledge here. Uh, maybe it's actually a good idea to, to build a little bit more road here, just so the vehicle, when it's on its route by itself, doesn't, like, trip out and do something crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and build some more ramps up. We do have a good amount of concrete on us, so we should have no issues with this. Okay, so here we go. Made a nice little bridge up here, and then the truck can just drive right here. Uh, I actually just cleared the trees out. There is some trees in the way, so I just took them out. And we are connected up to the main power grid. Let's get our butt over there and make some modifications. Uh, but before I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and fix up this and make it too wide over here. And if we have extra concrete, I'll throw some supports and stuff in it so it doesn't look so like it's floating in the air. There we go. So I threw some supports under it. You know, did a did a an honest shot at making it look like it's uh, legitimate. So we should be able to drive our truck up there now. What I'm gonna also do is we're we're gonna build the oil, um the refinery again, and actually use that to make fuel, and then we're gonna do the same thing back home, and we'll use the fuel to fuel the truck going back and forth. And once I got a hundred fuel going on over here, what we'll do is we'll drive the truck back around, build the other base, and then make sure like a hundred fuel will do us. And then we can actually lay out the automated track and we'll be good to go. And damn it, it just took stuff out of my inventory. Oh no, this one is unloading. So it just filled up this truck with oil. How much oil do we have in here? Oh, okay. It only gave it a little bit. Nice. All right. Look at that. So, whoa, no, whoo, almost fell right off the edge there. This, um, I got to get used to the speed. It's so much faster and it's so much easier to fight things too. Okay. Is this thing actually like full up? Oh no, it isn't either. Oh, you know what it is? I just powered everything. Durr. Here we go. So this thing now is actually accepting the oil barrels where this is still being powered by our biofuel. So let's go ahead and extend our power grid on over here. Take this, slide it in the corner. And then we can connect this to this. And we are good to go on the power grid. And I can get rid of these stupid things. There we go. I don't even need to go over there. Beautiful. Still running. Good to go. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually going to make the refinery in behind this. And then I can feed it um, into here. I'm going to have to move this conveyor belt too, but that's okay. Since we still have actually all this stuff on us before, I didn't even have to do anything different. So I'm going to go ahead and put this sucker, I think, in the middle of this. So that's one, two, one, two, right about here-ish. Yeah, it looks about middle. Oh wow, look at the size of this thing. Oh, <laughs> this thing is huge. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I don't think I took a look at the top last time, but wow, is this thing ever large. That's awesome. We should make some highways too eventually. I think I'm gonna uh, start pumping out concrete like crazy and uh, make a highway system. So let's unplug all of this and I'll get a nice splitter system going on up here. Okay, look at this. One last thing I didn't do is power this behemoth here. I think this said it took 50. Let's go ahead and tell this actually to make fuel. Yeah, it takes 50 megawatts. Okay, so essentially what will happen is this will get full and it'll only uh, produce as needed. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and like underclock this thing a little bit because I don't think it needs to go be going too crazy. We'll keep it 100% for now. But once we get it all caught up with the fuel in here, uh, in the station, then we'll be good to go. So the fuel has to come in here, and that line has to come in here. Oh, look at that. The sweet, sweet flow of fuel. Oh, that's awesome. Look at these things, too. I like how these look. These are really cool. Okay, so this will produce all the fuel we need from this end to keep the truck going. So we're good there. Now I just got to get the bear holes over to this side. So I think I'm just going to simply just go kind of up and over this. But I laid it out all, all out nice and clean. Put all the uh, the rails down or the, the sports down first and then hooked everything up to it. Ah, I like that. Like, look at that. Look at that flow. Isn't that nice? Oil in one end, gas out the other. All right. So a little bit of a renovation here. Uh, unfortunately, I actually won't be able to get to that second one smoothly because this will be in the way. So I'm going to have to bring this one up, I think, another level. I won't intersect. I, I could just intersect them, but I just I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to bring a track out here of the oil out and around into here. And then this will come up and then over and then in. And there we go. We have success. They don't run into each other. Oh, that's tight. Nice. I like it. Wow, those trees are huge. There we go. Now we have the fuel coming into here. Fuel the truck. I'm actually going to steal a stack of that fuel myself because we're going to put a full stack into the truck when we go in. Ooh, I should actually stash this in there. There we go. And one last step is just to underclock this sucker. We'll, we'll have it running at like 12%. Uh, hopefully that will be good enough. That, that should be more than enough. I mean, that truck route is actually quite long. Ah, beautiful. And then that will fill up that, and we are almost ready for automation. Next step is to actually go back home and build the receiving station, which I should have done before coming over here. But that's okay. We'll do, this. we'll do the same idea back home. We'll have one making gas, and we'll actually have it reverting back to here. Because the oil station is going to be literally right beside, or the oil factory is going to be right beside where the truck will load up. I'll have it, like, literally load right up into the factory. I think that'll look cool. Okay, i got to get my butt home. Okay, one thing I saw is that I had the bridge actually going over a little bit over here. Instead of just straight over. I don't know why I did that, but I'm going to get this fixed up and straightened out. I think I, yeah, I'm going to have to fix the supports too. That's okay. We have more than enough concrete now. One, two, three. There we go. All done. I think that looks much better. It doesn't look as crazy now. Cool. All right. Time to get home. We're good to go. And home sweet home. Wow. It's good to be back. Uh, that actually is a little bit of a tedious drive, but once we have this automated, we really should have no troubles. So, I'm going to build the oil factory right here. We're going to bring the truck up underneath the building, right down here, uh, outside of this truck's path. And then we'll unload it here, 
and build our factory here. Now this factory here, I think I'm going to keep it ground level. We're not actually going to raise it at all because we can build paths and stuff around it. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here. We're going to have our gas mask soon enough anyways. I'm going to leave a, bit, a little bit of space here so that we can just flatten this all out. I actually think it'd be, uh, I'm replacing like all of the grass with foundations. Screw grass. Uh, now I'm looking at the environment. I'm thinking we at least need one more bump up though. Like if I put one here and go here. Yeah, we'll go up one just to make sure that I've cleared everything. All right, so I built another unloading zone here. Basically the same thing I did there and the same thing I did there. I just like the way it looks. I think it looks really cool. Oh, this is gonna, this is exciting. We're gonna have like two different trucks doing their own routes around here and there'll be even more traffic. It's gonna get insane, I think, as we go down the road. Trains are gonna be so cool. Anyway, I need to put down a truck station here. You guys know how it goes. I'm going to build the uh, refinery and everything back here too, just to make fuel. Now, it did 84, but just in case, I would like to have more down here so that it keeps it going, right? Uh, so we need just enough space to build the unloading station, and then behind it again, another refinery. So I think another row or two should seal the deal. All right, now that I'm back here, uh, we were making frames. Whoa, holy crap. Go uh, with, the, with the new skates on, you fly across those freaking things. That's insane. Uh, it looks like our plates got emptied out over there. So I'm going to hook this one up to our main one and uh, keep feeding plates into it. There's a, there's a couple different layers of plates. We're actually almost ready uh, to get rid of all of this crap, and then we can separate these buildings. And we have ignition. So this thing here is uh, set to unload. So it'll unload all our oil for us. And for now, it just wraps into here. It'll be turned into fuel and it'll refill the, uh, refill the fuel. What I'll do is we'll come back here and expand our factory a little more in the future. And we should be able to plug it right nice into our steel factory because our steel factory is going to come out further. So I'm hoping this actually runs within a decent distance of that one. And we can plug each building into each other. Oh, this is going to look good. I'm excited about this. All right, so next step we have to do is the actual automation itself. So I'm about to do a recording run here. I'm going to start right at the top of this pad and keep going. Just as a note, um, I don't know if some people know this, but you don't actually have to pause at these when you're recording. You can just drive through it and keep going. Whoa! And I just grabbed a whole bunch of my own crap out of my own inventory. Oh well, it'll get jammed and I guess I'll have to uh, pick it all up. <laughs> uh, is this? I think it, this is the one that doesn't have much in it. No, it doesn't. There we go. Okay, no, we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and do the recording here. And we have completion. So I'm actually going to drive my truck around here. There we go. And get it reconnected up to here to go around. There we are. And we should be good to go. So hopefully I didn't mess up that end part, but if I did, I can just go and loop back around. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and actually get on this sucker, finish a recording, and then we're gonna enable autopilot, get off of it, and watch it not take off. There it goes. Nope, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go, truck? No, it doesn't know what to do. It's still re- oh, is it still recording? Oh, it's still recording, damn it. Okay. Let's, let's get it up here. I swear I had stopped the recording. And... Finish recording. Did it finish? Yeah, okay. There we go. And the autopilot's on. We're gonna cancel. Get off of this sucker. And it is very confused. Okay, is it gonna go back around? Let's see what it does here. I don't know what the hell I did. Like, look at all these arrows going through here. That's funny. I can come and delete these, though. That That's fine. As long as it goes up here, it gets unloaded and goes around and then back down. We should be good. 
Oh, let's get our plates out of there. Okay. What are you going to do, truck? Please don't mess up on me. If I did, that's my bad. Go, go, go. Nothing. Okay, so it is very, very confused as to what it is doing right now. Um, apparently, it's going to climb over that. What is it doing? Okay, I'm going to get rid of all of these nodes, and hopefully, if I just bring it up there, we can we can salvage this. This is brutal. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're going to collide. <laughs> oh, no. Holy crap. What are you doing, truck? Oh, whoa. And I got, oh, oh, and my sword's floating in the air. Holy crap, we just had a moment. No way. The truck just went into there. As if that just happened. <laughs> oh my god, this couldn't have gone any worse. Um, I can't even get into there because I don't have the gas mask unlocked. And that's the truck. We need for this. Oh my goodness. Uh, this might actually take a couple attempts. Okay, I'm going to get these stupid things cleaned up all the way back to the platform. And then I guess we're going to do a kamikaze run to try to save the truck. Oh my god, that's funny as hell. Alright, kamikaze run here. Um, I just put everything in the containers. Our inventory is completely empty. I'm probably going to die doing this, but at least this will hopefully get the, re -trucks, uh, or the truck reset somewhere. There we go. Oh, oh, it's, what's it going to do? Okay, it's on autopilot. It's obviously not going to get up there. Um, where is it going to go? Where are you going, truck? Hmm. Maybe I can help it on its way up. Oh, no, it's going to try repathing again. It's actually kind of interesting seeing how it's doing this when it can't get up here. Whoa, almost got ran over again. Holy crap, pay some attention. Okay, I'm going to grab some uh, some of this, and we'll get this fixed up over here. What if I... Do a ramp. Bang. Will you be able to get up here if I do a ramp? Oh, look at this! Look at that! Kind of. <laughs> Not entirely, but... It's trying. Are you going to be able to do it? No. What are you doing, tractor? Okay, I will guide you. Here you go. Get back up here and hopefully you don't completely derp out when you get to the station. And then have to redo this whole entire run. Whoa, where are you going? Okay, so you're going to come around this way. You're going to hit that thing over there. And drive in the wrong lane. And... You're off? Okay, well, I guess the truck is off, kind of. It just hit a uh, personal storage there. I got to get rid of that thing. But um, I guess the truck is off now. Okay, and the only thing I can do is wait back at this end and see if it actually makes its way back. That's insane. That is such a long route, too. Well, guys... I know this episode was a little derpy and uh, a lot of struggle, but hey, we got oil done. If this doesn't work, I'm going to I'm gonna wait this out here. I'm going to edit this episode, then wait it out. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to reset it properly. Because, like, I completely messed up the end here. It, like, come, it looks like it comes out and then just tries to go up this way. Hopefully it decides a better route next time. But I'll watch it carefully and we'll see, uh, we'll see where it goes. But I think we have success for the most part. We have it all done, which is pretty sick. So if you guys made it here... Let me know down in the comments. I like hearing from you. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next episode. If you want to see more, subscribe. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Stay classy.